everybody, it's Hayley. I know it's been a long time since I've done a vlog. Um, so this is going to be pregnancy vlog week, I think it's 21 um, through to 32. I'm currently 32 weeks and two days pregnant. Um, in that, sort of the 11 weeks, I've had several um, hospital appointments, you know, the route, that routine what I have, um, a couple of routine scans, growth scans, and some midwife appointments. Um, growth scans I have to have because with the blood condition that I've got, it can cause um, the growth to be restricted in the baby, and that's due to cause, um, the placenta. Um, however, she's growing really well, so that's not a, um, a concern at this stage. Um, I had a scan five weeks ago, and she was weighing two pound or estimated weight of two pounds and nine ounces, so she was average. Um, and then I had a scan last week to make sure she was still growing averagely um, and she was four pounds and three. So again, they've said that's for following a, a good line. Um, they've told me at the hospital that if she continues to grow at the same rate, she should be a similar size to Harry at birth, an average weight of six or seven pounds. Um, so they're happy um, at this stage that I will be induced at 38 weeks. Um, I've got to go again in about three weeks time we have another growth scan if everything's still okay um, they're going to give me a date to come in for my induction um, so it's getting quite close um, if I am induced at around 38 weeks I've got another sort of six weeks left so that seems very close um, yeah so things are going really well luckily um, fingers crossed hopefully everything stays good getting lots of movement um, quite strong movement so that's always um, encouraging um, I'm taking my medication still with no issues um, so from that aspect things are okay and yeah I'm just excited so obviously I mean the further you get the, the nearer we get now He's still, I'm still concerned obviously that things could go wrong so I sort of I want that time to come and everything to be okay and I'd literally just want to to have her I'm not keen on keeping her in there longer than than she needs to be um, and that's sort of what the doctors say once she's at a good weight um, and fully def uh, fully formed that that they want her to you know to be born um, because the longer she's um, in in there you know the the more risks that there are so hopefully um you know everything goes smoothly from that aspect yeah so that's it really there's not really a lot lot else to say and um, i have finished work now um, which is good because i've been finding a few things a little bit difficult um so obviously bigger you get a little bit out of breath and things like that um, i'm trying to keep active and in, in as much as you know going for walks and things but I'm getting a few back aches and things so it's a bit, little bit difficult obviously Harry as well he's 16 months old now so it's picking him up and things he's not quite walking yet he's uh, walking with furniture and and things but he's not independently walking um so it's yeah <laughs> it's having to sort of run around with him just to make sure he's you know safe and not falling and bumping his head and things so um that's obviously leaving me a little bit tired, but I've got good support um, from family, so so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the bump. So it's obviously grown a lot since you last saw, which is at 21 weeks, or it might have been 20 weeks. It's from the front, from the back, uh, from the side. So. So hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.